Hey everyone, this is a clip from a recent episode of the Men of Steel podcast, where we talk about Superman and Superman adjacent topics. If you enjoy this clip, check out the podcast. You can find it at certainpov.com or wherever you get your shows. What was going to be the direction of this new type of a character? Well, he was a character who had a lot of books running simultaneously, and they were like, let's do big stories that we can kind of focus on like our particular niches, but at the same time have big meta plots. And also this is the time where all of a sudden the, the comic like investors bubble got really, really big and people wanted to do big events. And arguably this is like the er example of it all because the death of Superman was a huge event that had like actual real world national news that drove up values. They had like collector's edition version that had the badge, uh, like the, the armband that you would put around your arm to like <laughs> celebrate Superman's death. And then they, they treated it like a real thing. I was like reading a, um, like the, the news time, bonus magazine that was put out uh and i think some of the quotes by like real people are real quotes because there's like one from william shatner talking about like how when he was a kid he put on, on a cave to be like superman and in universe that doesn't work so so i i think it was actually people talking about like what it felt like to have superman die and then the news shifted gears when they announced that he was coming back but it was coming back times four uh, <laughs> because it became a whole thing about like, oh man, Superman's coming back. Which one's the real Superman? It was like, I all I read this in post, but I was incredibly aware of it when it came out uh, because the news covered it. Uh, Disney Adventures had like things about like <laughs> Superboy's coming out and like Disney Adventures. Yeah, like yeah, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like uh, just like any sort of nerd outlet. What is funny that like Disney Adventures was kind of like one of my my gateways into that, but you know like uh, video game magazines and obviously Wizard uh, talked in great detail about all this, uh, and then I like so it it's it's a big event for me, but then it's also just it it was the big thing that like drove up value or drove up sales of a thing, expecting value to rise because it was like in the wake of like Action Comics number one selling for some crazy amount of money, and then it didn't do like it didn't because everyone had a copy like it didn't need to be valuable do, and also do we know how many it, of this it, printed like it sold it's uh it, it's a huge jump like it, it was ridiculous if i needed to look up the death of superman itself it was pretty high but i couldn't tell you off yeah. the top of my head um is mil- and then all the other issues are like all over the place on that yeah it was millions I, I, so the reason the, the reason i ask is because this is the first this action comics this this first issue is the first comic i read i feel like everybody has two first comics they have the first comic that they bought themselves that they picked and then if they're lucky, they have like the first, like the comic that their parents gave them that they're like, I like this. My mom, I think this is probably, this is one of the few, this was definitely an investment that she bought for, she was like, I will buy this for an investment because it came in the plastic sleeve. This is the first comic book. And I read it until the cover fell off. And so I'm sorry, mom, for ruining your investment. <laughs> but, like, but like, this was, this was huge. Like the parents did not do comics, but this was the comic that like got that was like this thing that immediately connected all the dots in my head in terms of like visual storytelling and all that stuff. And, um, and yeah, it was, if it was uh, big enough that my parents bought it, then I think it was, it was probably a heavily saturated market at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I think I had two copies at one point of the adventures of Superman because I mm-hmm. had one to read and one to collect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, be, and that was, and that was later. It was me hunting it down and I could hunt it down because there were a lot available. There were a ton available. <laughs> it's kind of like so trying many. to hunt down a copy of Sonic 2. Like, yeah. you can do it. Yes, yeah, so you can that. do it. Right. Yeah. I still have mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, or, or like the Super Mario Bros. slash Duck Hunt <laughs> cartoons. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can find it. You can find it. Although at this point... Uh, it might have shifted, but but yeah. At this point, we're all just kind of... I mean, like, the joke was... Back in the day, the joke was, like, well you and everyone else is collecting this for money like what are you relying on and the joke was like well i'm i'm hoping that your parents throw yours out and and at this point it (laughs) might actually be true like we're getting the timeline is getting long enough where there i wonder if there are like enough enough people just kind of like ditching these to where there's there's a uh the few pristine editions left will be worth money at some point and and the joke is true just poor storage like uh recently i had uh the fairly devastating moment where i like long like when i went to college my parents put a lot of my comics in storage Mm -hmm. and i had checked on them a a few times and then it there was a couple year gap like when i moved up to new york where i didn't really have a chance to like just like confirm that everything was good and like the apparently there was a water leak that even my parents weren't aware of a lot of it was on the ground a bunch of it weren't just like regular boxes and even the stuff that was bagged got damn like destroyed damn that sucks dude yeah 
and like it was uh, there's a lot surviving and a lot that's like fine for reading just not like the Collected. sale value would be like yeah. completely gone yeah, yeah so like those i'm fine with but like yeah like kind of sucks that like a lot of like my original run of impulse which was like one of the big comics i really cared about yeah. like bad enough that i'm like well i could maybe make it work in like a binder with like individual pages like <laughs> or something uh but with the but, trapper yeah, so, keeper but, time is going to destroy a lot of the original copies yeah <laughs> eventually. yeah that. uh and and that will eventually make some of these valuable like at this point but the problem is everyone wanted it to be valuable immediately immediately and yes it just wasn't going to be <laughs> it wasn't no 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 well you, you so you mentioned the bag part for that and each of those books had a bagged first issue with then it was like a two cover thing where it was like a an outer cover that uh, that had a cut out so you could see the ass so it actually was kind of like the episode art that we do for the show yeah, um, I mean, and and then it was just like a solid color i think it was like green for action comics um, it was like a, I, I forget exactly, but it was like color that kind of made more sense for each of the characters. Um, and then you opened it up or like, the, then you opened it and then there was a second cover and that had this like full page spread of each of the Superman or like, uh, waist up kind of like spread. So like, it was like a big close up on the S, but you could see like all the details of their, their body. Um, with the exception of Superboy who was turned backwards. So you could see hit the S on his jacket. Uh, okay, cool. But, so you can see he was wearing a leather jacket because that's the part that it's like, oh, he's cool, he's edgy. He's like, so like he's edgy. like turning back. You <laughs> he was so fade. cool. Oh my god, <laughs> he was so cool. We'll get, I we can't will get wait. to Superboy. I cannot <laughs> wait to talk about Superboy <laughs> and how I think this is how Jonathan Kent should dress today. That's I'm just going to tease that everybody listen for four hours and then I'll talk. And we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, if you like the clip after you're done liking and subscribing, check out CertainPOV.com where you can find more episodes of the show as well as a ton of other great shows.